Welcome to this movement practice for relaxation. My name is Kristen and I'm a registered physiotherapist. This practice is part of the workshop series offered to patients at the Ottawa Hospital. This practice includes calm breathing, body awareness and imagery, as well as rhythmical, rotational, rocking movement to stimulate the parasympathetic nervous system. This can be helpful to relax the body and mind and may ease pain and stress. If you're unsure about moving with pain, you may want to listen and practice the breathing first, imagining the movement. When you're ready to move, move within your comfort zone. You may stop and rest at any time or skip an exercise if you know it does not sit well in your body. The exercises are presented in lying, so find a comfortable but firm place to rest on. Move to lying on your back. Knees are bent, feet are flat on the floor, arms gently resting out to the sides. Notice your body on the surface you're resting on. Bring your awareness to your breathing. Put your mind's eye on the rise and fall of an ocean wave. Now begin to move your breathing with the movement of the ocean wave. Breathing in as the wave rises and breathing out as the wave falls. Breathing in as the wave rises. Breathing out as the wave falls. Breathing in as the wave rises, feel the belly rise. Breathing out as the wave falls, feel the belly fall. Breathing out in as the wave rises, belly rises, chest rises. Breathing out as the wave falls, belly falls, chest falls. Breathing in as the wave rises, belly rises, chest rises, feeling the low back arch a little. Breathing out as the wave falls, belly falls, feeling the low back flatten a little. Breathing in as the wave rises, belly rises, chest rises, feeling the low back arch and maybe rolling towards your tailbone. Breathing out as the wave falls, belly falls, chest falls, curling the tailbone up. Breathing in as the wave rises, belly rises, chest rises, rolling towards your tailbone. And breathing out as the wave falls, belly falls, back flattens, curl the tailbone up. Breathing in as the wave rises, belly rises, rolling towards your tailbone. And breathing out as the wave falls, belly falls, curling the tailbone up. Adding the neck, breathing in as the wave rises, belly rises, roll towards your tailbone, drop your chin down. Breathing out as the wave falls, belly falls, curl the tailbone up, tip the chin up. Breathing in, rolling towards your tailbone, drop the chin down. Breathing out, curling your tailbone up, tip the chin up, rolling towards the back of your head. Breathing in, drop your chin down, roll towards your tailbone. Breathing out, curl the tailbone up, tip the chin up, roll towards the back of your head. Breathing in, rolling towards your tailbone as you drop your chin down. Breathing out, curl the tailbone up, tip the chin up. You're doing a rolling movement along your spine. Nice and gentle and finding a calm breath. Breathing in towards your tailbone. Breathing out towards the back of your head. Feel the breath moving in through you. Breathing in towards your tailbone. Draw the breath all the way down. Breathe out towards the top of your head. Move all the breath back out. Full cleansing breaths, breathing in towards your tailbone and breathing out towards the back of your head. 
Breathing in towards your tailbone, an ocean wave rolls up the beach. Breathing out towards the back of your head, the ocean wave rolls back out to the ocean. Breathing in towards your tailbone and out towards the back of your head. Resting in the middle. Take a moment just to sense how you feel. Take a moment to take a full breath in and a full breath out. Moving on to uh, a rotation exercise. Using the image of the ocean wave, breathing in, imagine the ocean wave rising. Breathing out, imagine the ocean wave falling. Breathing in, ocean wave rises, feeling your belly rise. Breathing out, ocean wave falls, feeling your belly fall. Breathing in as the ocean wave rises, feeling light and lifted up by the wave. Breathing out as the ocean wave falls, feeling heavy and relaxed as the wave gently lowers you down. Breathing in as the wave rises, belly rises, light and lifted. Breathing out as the wave falls, belly falls, heavy and relaxed, gently lower down. Breathing in as the wave rises, feeling light and lifted through the front of your body. And breathing out, feeling heavy and relaxed through the back of your body. Breathing in, light and lifted as though puppet strings are pulling upward on your nose and your knees. Breathing out, feeling heavy and relaxed through the back of your head, your shoulders, your hips, your feet as though the puppet strings grew slack. Breathing in, feeling light and lifted. Breathing out, feeling heavy and relaxed. Now we'll move with that image. Breathing in, feeling light and lifted. Breathing out, feeling heavy and relaxed, let your knees and head roll towards the same side. Breathing in through the center, imagine the puppet strings are pulling you up through the center, light and lifted. Breathing out to the side, imagine the puppet strings grow slack as you let your head and knees roll to the opposite side. In through the center, light and lifted. Out to the side, heavy and relaxed. Now find an inner range movement. Not your full range, just almost a rocking movement from side to side and try to coordinate it with your breath. Breathing in through the center, breathing out to the side. In through the center, light and lifted, out to the side, heavy and relaxed. If you feel like that's enough movement for you today, you can stop there and rest. If you're ready to carry on, bring your attention towards the back of your head. Now as you roll from side to side, notice the points of contact of the back of your head against the surface you're resting on. Notice how it's in the center when you're looking at the ceiling and off to the side. And how far off to the side is it? Is it equal towards right and left? Maybe try to draw that space in, color that space in, that point of contact at the back of your head against the surface you're resting on. Breathe in through the center, breathe out to the side. If you're able to continue moving, coordinating your breath, then bring your awareness down to your hips, your pelvis, your tailbone. Notice the equal weight bearing when your knees are in the center and then how it shifts towards one side when your legs fall to one side. In through the center, fairly equal, out to the side. One hip gets heavier, but the other hip lifts up. You can focus on the hip getting heavier if that feels relaxing. Or maybe you'd like to focus on the hip lifting up, feeling light. Breathe into the center and breathe out to the side. 
and in through the center and out to the side. If you're able to continue moving and coordinating your breath, bring your awareness down to your feet. Notice how they're fairly equally planted when your knees are in the center. And then when you roll to the side, you're on the outer edge of one foot and the inner edge of the other foot. In through the center, equally planted, out to the side, rolling to the edges. Focusing on that sensation in your feet as you roll through the center and off to the sides. If you'd like to rest here now, you may. Or if you'd like to add your arms, bringing them out to the sides a little bit. And then as you roll to the side, feel how one shoulder gets a little heavier when you roll to that side and the other shoulder lifts, just like the hip, in through the center and then out to the side. In through the center, out to the side, turn the palm up on the side that you're rolling towards and the palm down the side that you're rolling away from. And just feel that movement through your shoulders. If your shoulders aren't feeling good today, you can skip this part and just rest. Breathing into the center and out to the side, turning the palm up on the side you're turning towards and the other palm down. And feeling how when the palm turns up, the shoulder rolls back, and when the palm turns down, the shoulder rolls forward. If you want to feel that shoulder rolling and your shoulders are moving comfortably, you could bend the elbows now. In through the center, and then out to the side, letting one hand fall back and the other hand fall forward. in through the center, and out to the side. Feeling that movement through your shoulders. Sensing that movement, but not pushing into pain. One more time. And then rest in the center. Taking a full breath in, and a full breath out. Now going into some rocking for the lower back. If you're able, bring one knee to your chest and then a second knee. Feel where you're comfortable moving. And if it feels good for you, you can start to rock side to side, just massaging either side of your back. Calm breathing and rocking. If this is not comfortable for you, lifting up your knees, you can simply rest, or you can support your legs on an exercise ball or the back of a chair. Pausing in the center, we'll try a different direction for rocking. Rocking in and out. Again, resting or following along if this feels okay for you. Breathing in, knees rock in. Breathing out, knees rock out. Noticing any sensation of stretching or rocking in the low back and pelvis. Breathing in, knees move in. Breathing out, knees roll out. If you'd like to add on some hip movement, we'll try a hip circle. Breathing in as your knees rock in and breathing out, letting the knees roll apart and circle around back to that start position. Breathing in and out as your hips do a small circle. Imagine tracing the body of a butterfly. Breathe in through the center, the body of the butterfly. Breathe out, circle around the wings of the butterfly. 
breathe in through the body of the butterfly and breathe out circle around the wings of a butterfly. Gentle rocking movement, calm breathing, and resting whenever you would like. Pausing there, lowering down one leg at a time. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Now moving over onto your side. You can use something like a yoga block or a small pillow to support your head. Knees are bent, hips are about 90 or slightly lower as if you were sitting in a chair. We're going to be doing some rocking through the torso from lying on your side. Thinking about this long leg Breathe in, slide your leg back a little bit. Breathe out, slide the leg forward a little bit. Breathe in, the top knee pokes back a little bit. And breathe out, the top knee pokes ahead of the bottom knee a little bit. Breathing in, sliding the hip back. Breathing out, sliding the hip forward. And then just notice that gentle rocking movement in your hip and the pelvis. Breathing in to slide back, breathing out to slide forward. If you would like to add on to this, we'll add the shoulder. You can rest your shoulder, your hand on your um, opposite shoulder, or you could rest your hand behind your neck, depending on what angle feels best for your shoulder. I'll show both. Breathe in, let the top leg slide back and let your shoulder blades slide back. Breathe out, let the top leg slide forward and shoulder blades slide forward. Breathe in, the top leg slides back, shoulder blade side slides back. And breathe out, the top leg slides forward and the shoulder blade slides forward. Breathing in, sliding back, feeling your hip and shoulder blade tuck a little closer to your spine. Breathing out, sliding forward, feeling your hip and shoulder blade lengthen a bit from your spine. In to slide back and out to slide forward. You can change your arm position if you like, keep it where it is. As you breathe out, sliding forward, feeling that shoulder blade lengthen and hip lengthen away from the spine. As you rotate back a bit, feeling things tuck back toward the spine. Breathing in, sliding back, opening up the shoulder for a slight stretch and breathing out, rolling forward, feeling that lengthening through the back of the body. And if you would like, you could add more stretching for the shoulder, your choice, breathing in and out. Feeling the front of the body open as you roll back and feeling the back of the body open or lengthen as you roll forward. Find a level that sits well in your body that is soothing and rocking and comfortable. and then rest in the center. Pause for a full breath in and a full breath out. And then we'll switch sides. Turning over onto your other side. I'm switching ends of my mat. Supporting your head. Knees are bent. And when you're ready, start rocking through the lower back and pelvis. Breathe in, slide that top leg back. Hip tucks back to your spine. Breathe out, slide the top leg forward, poking the top knee ahead of the bottom knee slightly. Breathing in, sliding that top leg back an inch or two. Breathe out, sliding it forward an inch or two. 
Breathing in, feeling the hip tuck back and towards the spine into your back pocket. Breathe out, feeling it lengthen away. Feeling that gentle rocking movement. You can stay here if you like, or you can add the shoulder. First position is resting your hand on your opposite shoulder. Breathing in, letting your shoulder roll back along with your hip. Breathing out, letting your shoulder roll forward along with your hip. Breathing in, the hip and the shoulder blade tuck back towards the spine. And breathing out, you roll forward and the shoulder blade and hip lengthen away. Find the amount of movement that sits well in your body. A slight rocking or just doing the breathing. If you like, you can change your arm position or keep it where it is. Noticing how that changes a little bit of stretching. Muscles lengthening. Breathing in, feeling your shoulder blade and hip tuck back towards the spine. Breathing out, feeling them roll forward. Lengthening the front of the body as you roll back and opening up the back of the body as you roll forward. You can add more movement to the arm if you like or keep it on your, on your neck or your shoulder. Your choice. Breathing in, rolling back. Breathing out, rolling forward. Breathing in, opening the front of the body. Breathing out, lengthening the back of the body. One more time. And then rest. Taking a full breath in and a full breath out. If you'd like to roll onto your back and just notice how you feel. Or rest here for a moment. When you're ready, sit up slowly. Notice how easy it is to take a full breath. Noticing any sensations in your body. My hope for you is that you feel calm, relaxed, and that your pain is about the same level or less than when we started. If not, maybe check in and see what could be modified for next time. Thank you for your practicing with me today.